So let us investigate how to do the Metropolis algorithm for the harmonic oscillator, but in MATLAB. So all of it is done in essentially two, three different functions, two rather basic functions, one of them which calculates the potential, which is just x squared over 2, the other one which calculates the Boltzmann factor, which is just the exponent minus beta times whatever v of x is. So this function is rather general. Then the important part is the random walk, the metropolis type random walk, or sometimes also called uh, I mean, a Markov chain, which essentially is a function that takes four arguments, the initial position, the inverse temperature, the number of measurements we want to take, and the function we want to measure. So in the very first line, we set our position to the initial position. We make sure that we're going to calculate some averages and set the averages to zero. And we also set a number of times we've rejected the step to zero. Then, for all the number of moves, which runs from 1 to n, we draw a uniform random number, which is a potential move. In this case, we've chosen it uniformly in the range minus 1 to 1, but many other options exist. We then define x nu as x plus move, and we calculate the ratio of probabilities, oops, which should actually read, not what it says over here, there's a typo, it was a typo in this file, but we'll correct that immediately, it's the ratio of the new probabilities divided by the old probabilities. That ratio over there will tell me whether I accept or reject a move. Uh, and then essentially, we always accept it if the probability is increases. But if the probability decreases, we only accept it with a probability which actually is equal to the probability ratio itself. And the trick to do that is draw a uniform random number between 0 and 1, because clearly the chance that it is going to be less than prop ratio is proportional to the, to the probability ratio itself, so that's exactly what we want it to be. And if that's the case, we reject the move, we reset x nu to be x, and we just go through two more if statements. We then, at the end of what this is called making a move, we actually redefine x to be the new x, we measure whatever the measurement function is, add it to the average, and then we end the for loop over all the potential moves. And at the very end of the function, we calculate the average by dividing by n, and we also calculate the fraction of rejected steps by multiplying by 1.0 over n. The 1.0 is to assure that we do real division rather than integer division. Then, in the main part of the program, we actually do some steps over beta. In this case, we've chosen beta between 1 and 5. And essentially what we do, we do a random walk in this case of 10,000 steps. At each point, we measure the potential energy, but beta is a varying function. And then we print out what the answer is. It might be interesting for you to have a look and try and understand what the interpretation of the results are. I mean, there's quite a cute interpretation you can give on that, which is quite useful.